if you don't subscribe to the channel, we're going to have some problems. And it's just, just going to be what it's going to be. All right? Enjoy the video. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate everybody for tuning in for this part two. Hey, yo, in the last video, y'all went nuts. I appreciate all the positive feedback on my last video for my 2021 gun collection, part one. I'm gonna do what I say I'm gonna do. So this is going to be part two. So what should we start with is the question, right? So let's start with this one. So this first gun will be the Remington 742 chambered in 30 odd six. And this is my baby. You know, in Texas, um, of course, we're Texans. So we hunt, we, we love, we love rifles in Texas. So this is, of course, it's, it's clear for all the, you know, the YouTube hall monitors. It is clear, it's safe. I can't pull the, can't pull the trigger. And I apologize if you guys hear um, anything in the background. I got my dad and my uncle over, they're watching the uh, NBA finals in the uh, living room. But this is my baby, all right? So, you know, typical hunting rifle. I wanna show y'all the rounds that it comes in. So here's the magazine for it. It holds four, I wanna say. It holds four rounds of uh, 30 odd six. And you literally slap that in the bottom right here. I see that? If I can do it, oh, there we go. That goes, push it forward, take the mag out. But here's one of the bullets. You guys see that? Well, of course you can see it. And I actually, hold on, let me go find the 223 real fast. So this would be the Remington 30 odd six, and this would be 223-556 caliber round. Y'all see the difference? There's a lot of powder behind this. And like, on the cool, I really, my dream gun, my dream rifle is the 50 cal. And I mean, anybody that has, well, I'm not gonna say anybody, but I personally want a 50 cal. I, I love 50 cals. And I'm willing to spend seven to eight grand on a 50 cal. But yeah, so, you know, just just a typical hunting rifle, right? But this is a good gun. They don't make these anymore. Um, this is actually replaced uh, by another gun. I don't know which one it is, but um, this this definitely, this gets the job done. So this gun isn't a bolt action, it's a semi-automatic. So yeah, it's just a matter of um, squeezing the trigger until it clicks. So again, Remington 742 chambered in 30 odd six, or uh, for people that don't aren't too familiar with odds and guns and stuff like that, it is a 30 dash zero six. All right, so Remington 30 odd six right here, guys. And this is all real wood. That's the crazy part about it. This is all real. This is real wood. It's an older gun. It was made up. I want to say this gun was made back in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. But I've seen this gun, it's reliable. I couldn't pass up on it. So again, guys, Remington 742, chambered in 30 i6. On to the next one. So the next gun I'm gonna show you guys is going to be another rifle. But this rifle is a Maryland or the Marlin chambered in nine millimeter. I want to show you guys the magazine that goes with this. So the magazine connects right here. And here's the mag. Again, it's chambered in nine millimeter. Wait, before I do that, hold on a second. Let's see. It's, it's empty. All of my guns are safe. This was just a, this is an interesting gun. You know, 
sometimes in life you just buy or you you know say you just obtain things that are just different and this is one of those different guns again this is a semi-automatic as well no bolt action but this is just a different gun i've never had a rifle chambered in nine millimeter before never even seen one honestly so of course this one is very attractive to me yeah what y'all think about it let me know Let me go ahead and put this out there. I'm taking all bets. Anybody that wants to go to the range, shoot, let's say 25 shots. I don't know, well, let's do, we can do 15 shots. Anybody that wants to get some range time in, um, pistol wise, pistol. If anybody wants to get some range time in, pistol wise at 25 yards, yo, I'm taking all bets. I don't care if you ex-military, police, um, I don't care. I'm, I'm willing to take all bets Like when it comes to the range time. Um, I'm shooting, I'll probably shoot my Colt. But, so what do y'all think about this gun? All right, make sure y'all drop it in the comments what y'all think about it. This was made by the Maryland Firearms Company out of North Haven, Connecticut. But yeah, a pretty, a pretty cool gun. Hmm. So I'm still debating on what I should do next. I'm, I'm trying to like stagger these things off. Fuck it. So I got another AR for you guys. But this AR is an MMP and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. All right, guys. Of course, everything's safe. So, clean, clear. Everybody has to have a, a, a zombie, a zombie gun. This is a zombie gun right here. It's straight head shots. All right, so it's chambered in 22 long rifle. Check these rounds out though I want to show you guys so 22 long rifle compared to where the hell did that bullet you guys got the 22 long rifle bullet compared to a 223 and I also want to compare this to So again, 22 long rifle. Y'all just seen it against the 223. This is a 30 odd six. A <laughs> crazy difference, right? But you know, guys, everybody gotta have a, a, a 22 long rifle in the collection. So I typically use this gun more for training exercises rather than actually like using it for home defense or something like that, just to be in the motions of it, you know? and uh, shoot rifle, you know, sling rifle, full pistol. This is what it looks like with the mag in. All right, again, MMP, chamber, and 22 and I love this gun this is a great gun for like just doing training exercises it's not gonna break the bank with ammo and uh, yeah it's um it's durable it's reliable I can't I literally can't complain about this rifle so make sure you guys tap in make sure you guys have a 22 rifle in your collection well i'll just say make sure you guys have a 22 in your collection and it can be pistol rifle whatever i like rifle just because of the price um i like 22 long rifle just to, just because of the price of the uh, the rounds so you can put in a lot of range time with these and it's a lot less wear and tear on your firearms 
So, yeah, MMP chamber and 22 long rifle. The next two guns are very rare. All right, when I say very rare, I mean super rare. And I'm almost positive you can't find the next one I'm about to put up anywhere. I don't, like, they, they for damn sure don't make them. I'm pretty sure you can't find the next the next gun I'm about to show you guys anywhere. Anywhere. Maybe in a pistol form, but not a rifle form. Drop a comment right now which, which gun you think I'm talking about. So the next gun is the Judge. And this is made by Taurus. And this will be the Taurus Judge. All right. And this is chambered in 45 and 14. Okay. What do you guys think? Just to show you guys. It is empty. It is empty. It's a revolver. And yeah, this this is a bad mother father since the brother right here. Now, let me show you guys what the rounds look like real fast. This is what the rounds look like. Alright. Also equipped it with a um, of course with a foregrip with a light or attack light attached to it. So you know. Behind it, right here, you slide that up and guess what? Ooh, more rounds. So need to. If you need more rounds, you can easily slide it out and make it happen from there. But again, guys, this is the judge. This would have to be one of the most one of the most rare guns in my collection. It does have a rail up here. Um, had a rail right here, of course. I'm using it. And pull it like that, or don't hate me for dry firing. I apologize. But yeah, really good gun, reliable. And rare as hell. Again, Taurus makes this gun. It's chambered in 45 and 410. This is uh, 45 Rimfire, um, not HCP. Yeah, really good gun. So make sure you guys do some research on this if you're interested. It's a weird looking gun, but anybody that can tell you about a judge um, revolver will tell you good things. Like this this gun is really reliable. This gun is really reliable. So again guys, the Taurus Judge. Alright guys, so we made it to the last gun. And uh I don't know if y'all ready for it. So I had a lot of comments about this. A lot of people told me like hey yo like that 1911 that you had, it should be put up somewhere. Like you shouldn't even be using it. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. But you know, we got two 1911s. So let me show you the other one. This is the Colt 1911. Chambered in 45, of course. Show you guys. As y'all know, it is clear. Clean and clear. Check me out. Check me out. So with this coat, one of my favorite things is the beaver tail. The beaver tail. The beaver tail keeps me from getting bit. Let me show you guys my other one real fast. This is the first 1911 I showed you guys, the Argentinian Colt 1911, made in Argentina. All right.
and this is the other one but beaver tail compared to no beaver tail so I get slide bite a lot off of this gun I also typically use the regular magazine with this one. The magazine that has 10 rounds in it is always a go. So what do you guys think about this one? Let me know. Drop a comment. So we added right here the rubber grip just to fit, you know, your hand better and it makes it so much more smoother. It just it just it fits like a pair of socks straight out the dryer it just, it just fits you right but again gun safe okay so again guys Colt 1911 but this is a Colt Mark 4 series 80 to be exact I want to make sure you guys are able to know what type of coat exactly this is, but very, very comfortable gun, you know? I don't know what it is, but I like heavy guns. I, I just, I love heavy guns. And these Colts do it for me every time. The Colt 1911, it does it every single time for me. And this is a government model. Show you guys what it looks like with the mag in, with the extended mag. This is what it looks like with the extended magging. And I'm I'm 6'2, but I got really big hands. Like I got huge hands, so it's just something about how this coat fits. Like fits me. I just love about it. But yeah, man. Colt 1911. This is um, Colt number two. Colt 1911. So I got the Argentinian Colt and I have the actual Colt like, made in the US of A. Baby. Colt 1911. All right. Favorite gun. Favorite gun of all time. If you ask me what my favorite gun is, it's going to be a Colt 1911. All right. Without a doubt. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I need you, listen, I need you to hit that subscribe button right now. Like right now, hit the subscribe button right now and then turn on your post notifications so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. If you wanna see part three, I need this video to get to, let me stop acting like I'm gangster. If you guys wanna see part three, get this video to 1500 likes that's right i doubled it from the last video because you guys kind of ran it up pretty quick so get this video to 1500 likes and i'll do a part three and i think that will be pretty much the rest of my collection so part three 1500 likes guys make sure you guys drop a comment tell me what you think about the collection if it's trash if it's a1 whatever and um if you got any questions if you got anything to critique about these these guns if you i mean let me know the good the bad and the ugly i have one gun in particular that i can't wait to show you guys if you guys want to see the part three get this video to 1500 likes that's all i'm asking for 1500 likes make sure you guys drop a comment let me know what you're rocking with if you got the same gun maybe chambered in something different again guys i appreciate you guys tuning into the video so i'll see you guys soon peace Thank you.